Here's how some Australian Army engineers spend their time serving at the Lolo Ho base in Bougainville. Hello again, shoppers. It's the time for the annual gay Mardi Gras of Lolo Ho. Why don't I take you and I'll show you some lovely gay people. The mock Mardi Gras includes cross-dressing troops, simulated sexual acts and depictions of gays and lesbians. Vida Warrior Princess! It's far from great PR by these troops approaching the end of a tour of duty. To make you horny, baby! <laughs> yeah! The production caused embarrassment when shown to troops from New Zealand, Vanuatu, Fiji and foreign affairs officials at a party. G'day, my name's Sergeant Greg Wilson. I'm the Mayor of Cooksville. I'm from Cooksville. Cooksville is uh, probably 30 k south of Darwin. Gays and lesbians say it's a sinister insight into abhorrent attitudes in the military. Our defence force is obviously still deeply bigoted and still deeply prejudiced, particularly against homosexual They say it's time the military moved to educate troops to overcome racial and sexual prejudice. We hear a lot about the dangers of not upgrading our military hardware. In my view, there are just as many dangers in not upgrading the attitudes of our military personnel. The Army says the tape obtained by the Sun Herald newspaper had a limited audience but admits it's in poor taste. Leaders launched an inquiry from Sydney, the result will be known next week. Federal ministers say it's unacceptable and tasteless. They're also waiting for reports. Bye till next year, duckies. Sharon Marshall, 10 News. And remember the Bougainville version of Mardi Gras as played out by the troops? Well, these guys won't let that be forgotten. They'll be up on their very own Sydney Anzac Bridge, the theme, Lust We Forget. We've got three drag artistes. We've got Dawn Service, Anzac and Coco de Trail. A few hours, but so much for not raining on the parade. It looks set for a downpour. The final touches are almost done to an event quite unlike any other. But however you see it, it's hard not to look. The Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras, the largest show of its kind. A civil rights demonstration at heart, that's if you don't get lost in the gowns and the glitter. Pink flamingos will lead tonight's charge of 175 floats, sending out a message about gay and lesbian parenting. Today we found our very own Queens of the Desert, BB and JC in their sparkling little Jeep Bubba, Alice Springs' very own Priscilla Pear. Have you had a look inside here? I mean, it's just as wild on the inside than what it is on the outside. No amount of planning ever enough. Frantic the word of the day for last minute preps. You, there are Mardi Gras held together by hot glue and gaffer tape. A few alterations. Even queens can add a few pounds. Yes, yeah, so a little drag queens. Getting too much cream. And remember the Bougainville version of Mardi Gras as played out by the troops? Well, these guys won't let that be forgotten. They'll be up on their very own Sydney Anzac Bridge, the theme, Lust We Forget. We've got three drag artistes. We've got Dawn Service, Anzac and Coco de Trail. And from the boys to the gals, dykes on bikes. We're not scary girls, we're just out to have a good time. But by the look of the weather, an umbrella might be tonight's best accessory, with a dash of glitter, of course. To Centre Hocking, Team News. An important social message about tolerance and civil rights. There was an awful lot of scary dust in the air. It's that sort of day. And some of it had come a long way, such as the attraction of tonight's big party and parade. I'm from Alice Springs, we bought the car and then we decided to come down for Mardi Gras. And then spent days giving it the sort of finishing touches needed to stand out tonight. It'll have some tough competition. Almost 200 floats have been built for the parade from every state and overseas. Follow the yellow brick road. This one will be the Anzac Bridge, complete with its own unique road signs and calculated to remind the RSL that not every cow is safe. Sydney gay and lesbian Mardi Gras organisers say they sometimes worry that the emphasis on humour and glitz obscures the parade's reason for being, civil rights. It's not just about gay and lesbian, tolerance for gay and lesbian issues, but it's also about a broader tolerance about around issues around racism and acceptance of diversity. Now this looks like uh, uh, some representation of, of uh, 
Bougainville, oh, if I'm yes. not mistaken. Uh, this is the Bougainville Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras present, the bridge over the river queer. And this group of guys were, well, I guess to put it bluntly, because it's a little bit late, it's a little bit Channel 10, they were pissed off when oh. there was criticism of the Australian de Defence Forces in Bougainville who did their own sort of drag act, because they reckon there's a bit of hypocrisy in the criticism and that it was in the grand tradition of Aussie blokes dressing up and drag. Well, look, I mean, you've seen it everywhere at uh, your local school camp or any other footy show, uh, which I think a float is going to be uh, representing that later on. But men in drag, um, if it's just if it's just for fun, it seems okay. But when it, it, it's uh, the gay community involved, all oh, that's just wrong. But I say good on you, Bougainville. Okay, well I'm here with Cubby. Remember you did the Bougainville float? Yeah, it's going. Good, yeah, it's going really good. Yeah. All right. So Cubby, tell us, this is all about when uh, the armed forces did Mardi Gras up in Bougainville. That's right, we're doing the armed forces doing Mardi Gras in Bougainville. Hey, is, come in, you just is Anzac, here? Anzac here? I want to meet Anzac. Are you Anne? Uh, this one here's Anzac. I am. Two yes. military strategists. Yeah. This is Dawn Service. Uh-huh. Dawn. Hi, John Service. Hi. Come on the trail here. Oh, okay, go to the trail. We're on marching. Come on, show me how to march. Okay. See you later. That's a high school. 